Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Win and Nail Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It's very much appreciated. I'm just going to be doing a general reading. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she, that's for my benefit. And sometimes the story might be vice versa, okay? All right. like for some of you you were in a very caring connection or at least you thought you were okay and I, I kind of feel like you know somebody was wearing a false mask in this connection I uh, feel like somebody that um, was very materialistic okay where um, you know they just wanted this beautiful life of abundance and pleasure and you know travel and comfort okay I feel that, you know, with the magician in the mirror is that um, they may have walked away from you because they were seeking opportunity out in the community with other people. And I feel like that this really, you know, was very heartbroken. You were very heartbroken. I can't get my words out. You were very heartbroken that you had to walk away from this connection. Okay. I feel that, you know, you were mentally tied and trapped to this situation for a long period of time. And, you know, you, you walked away, you focused on yourself, you know, you you found out that this person was seeing other people and this really sort of devastated you, okay? So I kind of feel like, you know, whoever you, you were connected to was some sort of an opportunist when it comes to, you know, finances and things like that, okay? Now, I hate to tell you this, but there's some sort of soul contract that is going on between you and this person, okay? And I do feel that there's been, uh, the universe has been stepping in for a period of time now, okay? And um, I feel that you've, you know, moved on with some sort of success and um, maybe your, fi your finances got better while theirs got delayed, Okay. Now, the reason why theirs is delayed is because they're still not learning a lesson here, okay? So I kind of feel like I'll tell you what the lesson is in a minute, but, um, you know, whoever they gravitated to and, and uh, the people that they've gone towards, I feel like that that has also come to an end, but I do feel that there is still other people in the background um, trying to connect to this person and this person is trying to hold back they're trying to hold back okay because I do feel that this person still cares for you and they're thinking of coming back or if they're not already back they're, they're thinking about it and you're also thinking okay you know what is are you coming back with all these attachments of other people or are you coming back you know to be able to have this connection, um, you know, blossom and our abundance can start to grow together, all right? Now, the lesson for this person is that they need to understand that you are the person that is meant to be in their life, okay? Because they've been denying this for a long period of time now because they want a sense of freedom and they don't want to be tied down and, you know, and all that that comes with being a player, to be honest with you, okay? Now, what they don't realize with you is that once you have trust in a connection, once this person can be honest with you, okay, that they can have all the freedom that they want. But you want trust, honesty, and loyalty. And I don't feel that they can give that to you right now, all right? Or back then, because I feel like they are coming towards you. They're ending a situation to come towards you. Because I feel like um, somebody has put some sort of financial constraints on them, okay? And, you know, when they come towards you, they will be healed or they're in the process of healing, okay? And they're on their way to, um, you know, an, a door that is opening for them. And it is um, like a spiritual 
a spiritual path that they have to take, okay? Because they are going to be universally guided. Once they start connecting to you again, their finances will start to improve. Like this person and, and you, you have a lot of good opportunities and a financial abundance in the future if you two can take some action towards each other, okay? Separately, I feel like money comes in in drips and drabs, but together you can build something. You can build an empire together, all right? Now, I do feel that there is a, a woman that is uh, financially successful that cares for this person, but this woman is also carrying a broken heart right now because she may have got information regarding something that was going on in the community, okay? And she can't seem to forgive this person about it, you know, like it plays on her mind. I feel like there's no communication between these two right now. And if it is, it's very minimal because she wants the upper hand. She wants to teach this person a lesson. She holds back finances from this person now, whereas before she was very giving, very, um, you know, attentive, you know, and it's like, you know, she won't um she won't be hand, hand, handing out anymore okay there's a lot going on through this woman's thought see there was deceit that went on okay the person wearing the false mask was very deceitful in this situation okay now i do feel that this person does have somebody though that they do care for besides this person here okay so I feel it, it is a third party situation, but I also feel that there was a lot of people that um, also interfered in all this, okay? Now, I do feel this person is coming towards you because they need healing. They need to find some sort of happiness, okay? They need to see the sun shine again. I feel like you make this person happy and they really do appreciate you, okay? Because they know that you're... You're a free spirit, okay? Um, now, being a free spirit doesn't mean that you don't want a relationship or you don't want to be with somebody. It's just that you don't want to be controlled. And I feel this person is the same. They do not want to be controlled. So that's why I feel like you and this person actually make a good couple. But all you want from this person is trust, honesty and loyalty. And maybe those three things are the hardest things that you're going to find. Okay, now I do feel that money is very important to this person. Okay, I feel like, yeah, it is very important to this person. But, you know, you're like an angel for them. You're like the angel of love. Whenever they feel lost, they come to you. Whenever they feel uh, like they want to be home, they come to you. Okay, so, you know, I think this person is also a little bit envious of you that, you just stand on your own two feet. You don't need anybody else, okay? But I'm going to tell you that there's a storm warning coming, all right? There's a man coming towards you. Somebody who is going to value you. Somebody that you're going to have a victory with, okay? Because I feel like you've been patient waiting on somebody for a long period of time. And although that you have this beautiful connection... They can't seem to move forward with you, all right? Because they always have attachments to other people. They always have, um, you know, or the, maybe they're, they're married to this woman holding the coin. But there, there's something that they, you know, can't seem to move away from right now. So we have this man that is coming towards you, or a woman, take it as, as it resonates with you, okay? Somebody who sees your value, somebody that wants to have a victory with you. All right, and you're just being patient trying to find time to stall something here, okay? Because I do feel that while this person is playing the field with the number of options that are here, I feel like you're opening up your options now. And even though you know this person is the yin to your yang, you know, they seem to create some sort of hostile situation towards you. So, you know, when they get close it's up to you, it's almost like they got too close, so they got to destroy it. Yeah? 
So in some ways, both of you are a little bit the same. You both want each other, but you're both scared of each other. But, you know, and it's only because there's no trust, there's no loyalty, there's no honesty here. Okay? But there's lots of love. I've got love everywhere here. I've got the man holding the heart. I've got the, the woman holding the heart. I've got the angel of love. There is love here. But there's also deceit. But this person appreciates you more than the partner that they're with. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. So this fell on the card of Cornucopio, which was eventually what I was going to tell you that you and this person can have Cornucopio together. And Cornucopio is um, financial blessings, abundance, you know, the happy home. It's everything that you can want, you know, but you two need to heal. You're both on a journey. And this person needs to start valuing you. Uh, you know, and getting rid of all these attachments that, that they have, you know, behind them and open up the door to romance with you. Because I feel like, you know, the friendship, the connection is absolutely beautiful, but there's always interference in the background. And now we've got somebody coming towards you. All right. So this person is doing a lot of thinking and, you know, they're, they're, in, they're very indecisive about which direction they want to go. And it is causing them a lot of anxiety. It's causing them a lot of stress because they know that to make these changes, they, um, they really, really have to walk away from a lot of things, okay? But I also think that they don't realise how simple life is with you. You're not pushy, you're not, you know, all you want is um, romance in your life. You want somebody who's going to be there for you. Um, you know, you don't want to grow old by yourself. You just want to have this connection that is full of love and happiness that, to just see your, you know, the rest of your life out, okay? For some of you, this person dreams of having a family with you. Um, you know, and I, I feel like if you look at your children and you look at their children, that there's similarities, <laughs> you know, that they could possibly pass for brothers and sisters. Um, but no, they're not, they're not your children. <laughs> but um, at the end of the day, you know, um, I do feel that things are going to be illuminated for this person very soon. And they are going to have to make a decision, I feel, by August. I feel like right now they're sort of like in this airy fairy, you know, taking chances deal, you know. But you are home to this person. You are where, you know, their heart gravitates to all the time. And they're trying to work out what the connection is between you and this person. But... I'm going to tell you that you and this person have a soul contract. You have a past life. You, you've you gone through many cycles with this person. They just look different in every cycle, you know, and so do you. But there's something about you that they're connected to and um, it's making them think. It's making them think. So I feel like in the month of August, um, I feel like if this person is already back in your life in the month of June, that they are opening up a door to romance and they are thinking about you, okay? But I do feel like in the month of August that they know that they have to make a decision and this is causing them a lot of anxiety, okay? So, you know, there's a pattern here. So they come in around June and I think, um, you know, in the month of August, no, sorry, um, they come in around June and July, they are seeking answers. They are looking for truth. They are looking um, at the bigger picture, you know, things that uh, they may have hidden from you um, or words that have, were not spoken may be spoken in the month of July. Okay. By August, I feel like they're going to have to make a decision and by, you know, um, September, they have a lot of anxiety that is um, worrying them because they know that, you know, they've made a decision and they need to talk now. But I do feel by uh, October, this person comes back towards you. 
right? And I do feel that there is travel plans. There's going to be some travel plans between you and this person. And you may disappear for a little while. But um, I also feel that this person... Uh, I feel like you and this person do travel to a destination at the same time but you don't you don't get a chance to see each other they're there for financial reasons you might be there for family reasons okay so uh, but i still i feel that there's still conversation between you and this person all right now this person knows that if you were to put yourself out there that you would have a lot of serious contenders okay but I feel like you're not, you're not putting yourself out there. You're just holding back. You're keeping to yourself. You're working on yourself. You're working on your finances. You're just sort of like taking a step back, almost hermit mode. Um, but they know that if you were to decide to actually put yourself out there, that you wouldn't be single for very long. Okay. But I do feel that you do deep down inside have a lot of love for this person, but you're keeping it contained because you kind of feel like, well, they're not opening up to me. I can't open up to them. You're both exactly the same. You are both exactly the same. Okay. But I also feel that if this person decides to become single, that they will go and look at other options before they come in and give you the, the right offer. But I don't, I feel if they do that, that you, you won't wait. You won't wait because you feel like you've waited too long, wasted too much time here, and, and end result is they still want to seek options. So I feel like that this person that is coming in to your life is going to look very good in your eyes. You know, and then by the time this person comes back, there's going to be competition. And it turns out that you're the one that has the options. So I wish you all the best with that. And, um, you know, I hope you choose wisely. See you next time. Bye for now.